Welcome to Closer Log 12, a video part of the series of the ongoing development of my startup, Closer Stack. And how's it going guys? My name is Lucas and welcome back to the multi-billion dollar studio, the one you might never heard about. So working in a startup is nice. You, at the first moment you have this very honeymoon feeling where you with your idea because you start to build it and you have a lot of uh, problems to face a lot in, a lot of challenge to to attack and wh why are we going to through the development of the application you see you leave some steps some important steps behind so you you go through a different path to the release of application and make your application live and now you have you realize that it's some stuff that you've been failing and now you have to re reassess so that's what's happening to me right now. <laughs> so there is an important thing you have to do on your application. I've been failing, so this, and then now it's time to readdress that. And it is the unit testing. Since the beginning of the application, I had, I make the conscious decision to not do unit testing. And the reason was because I was only one person. I wanted to create a lot of features and I didn't focus on MVP, I was stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, But now I have to come, go back to the application and do this tedious part that's doing unit testing. And, uh, and if you've been developing an application, if you know the legacy applications, uh, ClusterStack has been developed for two to three years, so you can imagine how many unit tests you have to do now and you haven't been done you haven't been assessing that and it's just not just a one in one service that is a plenty of services that i created to make cluster stack running and i have to do unit tests for all of them and so it's front end back end and all the services on the back end because i made microservices and none none of them were been testing and now i'm creating unit testing for that <laughs> So yeah, yeah, this, it was horrible, very, very bad decision. It was a conscious but bad decision, so don't do it, please. Do unit testing while you can, please. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys what I've done so far here. So this is the unit testing for the server and uh, we cover at the moment 35% of the application. So as you can see here, there's a lot of red we haven't we haven't been covered yet, and there was there is a lot of part of the application as well we we avoided because it's only we only uh, load in the files, and there is some of the other files here we're loading, but we need them in order to test the other application. So like we not we checking we we covering them just because that is some prototypes inside that files and mostly the models. So we have prototypes there and you have to use it. And I don't want to nitpicking models to say, oh, this model I don't want to test, this model I want to test. Rather, I, I rather ignore the whole folder, the whole directory or not. So at the moment, I'm going to keep like that. But um, now the main part we're testing is the resolvers of our GraphQL, where is the major functionality of the, of the app. And of course, we have our other functionalities and uh, and uh, like isolated functions that we use, helpers and everything. We have to test that as well. So we take another step as well to check if our unit testing are working properly. So I added to our GitHub environment using GitHub Actions. So every time, uh, every time someone push a change to our to our main branches, we're going to be testing the application. So we're going to be run the tests and you have the coverage report here. As you can see here, you have statements 35%, branch 15, function 28, and lines 26%. And I see I been, it, this has been the, the unit testing so far. And now at least we have some good testing to do. <laughs> 
Now let's talk about the good stuff. Let's talk about the alert that is coming out very, very soon. And uh, we just finished the alert service. So as I said before, we have a bunch of microservices. We decide to not leave everything in just one big repository, making a big one repo, and then decide how we orchestrate the application. So we divided our backend into, into different microservices where we can we can develop it in different ways and the way that we want. So now uh, the alert service is this guy here where we generate this beautiful picture here and we send out alerts regarding services and jobs that have been created into cluster stack. When I say sending alerts, I mean sending these images to our social media. So we have now a Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn account where and whenever you have a new job being posted into Clutterstack, we're gonna be spreading out this information through our social media. So you're gonna be able to see these alerts wherever you are. So it can be email, you can if you assign to Clutterstack, it can be on your social media if you follow us on Twitter, on Instagram and, and Facebook, LinkedIn. And uh, this service is a, is, a, is a microservice that will be pushing really soon into production. But first we create our CI CD. So basically we create a Docker file here where we orchestrate the way we want to build our application. And uh, we push it now into our Heroku. So Heroku we use mostly just for staging environment. It's almost like the production environment. We have the same results testing our application. So now that we tested this morning and uh, seems very okay. So now we're gonna be doing a new pull request to the, our production branch. And uh, on our production branch, we're going to be able to deploy it on our servers using using our GitHub Actions. So GitHub Actions actually is a very good um, development CI CD because we can use a lot. Uh, we can use only a YAML file and whatever you push to the branch you want to work on your builds, you can just fire up and then that's it. You have your application uh, building and deploying. We have an factory where we, we store our Docker builds. And then probably we'll be working on Kubernetes really soon because we're going to, we're going to get to a point you're going to have a lot of different microservices you, you want to orchestrate our our services in a very very minimal way and i believe that kubernetes will be able to do that for us and uh how the alerts will work so we're gonna send a request to the backend whether we're creating a job position and our service and then our backend on main service is gonna create this service or job and then we're gonna see if there is a alert to be created for that job or service and if there is, he, the server is going to create this alert and then going to send the request to our alert service. And our alert service is going to pick up this uh, alert ID and then going to generate the, the file and then going to be pushing this, this image file to our social medias. It's very basic, and uh, but it requires a lot of attention because here you work with three different environments. You work with your front-end application, your server and your microservice. And in the future, we're going to be having these uh, alerts being sending out to notifi notify the user on the app. So we have the, the part of the app yet to be uh, created, to be deployed. And um, yeah, so we're going to be waiting now to finish this week. And uh, we're going to be pushing all of these to production, see if there is any error, fix the errors. And then after that, we're going to be pushing changes on the, on the app too so that's pretty much it and uh i hope you like it and uh, of course this is kind of like a tedious video i know that <laughs> but you know it's some stuff that you need to be done and at least i'm showing uh more or less how it is uh the day-to-day -day life of a developer of a small startup application and uh it's not always a beautiful thing to there's not there is not always beautiful things to do they always have like uh, housekeeping and uh, crap stuff to do. <laughs> so that's it. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and as always, see you next. Mm -hmm.